interior plastic gets pretty beat up, worn, weathered. Uh, the top coat is what protects it, just like similarly the clear coat on the exterior. The, the, the top coat, which is a clear coat, um, that protects all the plastic, gives it maybe even a little bit of a, sometimes a low sheen, medium, or uh, maybe even a high sheen in some cases. But as you can see, especially like this is a work truck, it gets bumped and bruised, and it's uh, actually a lot shinier than it normally would be because of all the friction, kind of makes it shinier by rubbing it with, you know, dirt and, and just touching it in general. So um, at wax on wax off detailing, um, whenever we thoroughly detail an interior, so this area has been thoroughly detailed. Whenever we thoroughly detail, I don't like to leave it like this. I like to add a protectant because what that does is uh, preserves the material. So it slows down or maybe even stops the um, wearing process or the um, you know, the wear and tear that pr is produced on this sort of material. And how it slows it down or stops it is now there's a protective barrier between the plastic, that top coat, and whatever comes in contact with it. So whether it's a reduction of friction, um, <clears throat> a reduction of the sun's ability to damage it, uh, it also puts a little, you know, kind of think of it like moisturizing, it's like moisturizing your skin puts a protectant and kind of soaks into that top layer. It, it doesn't, uh, it stays pretty much on the top layer. A little bit goes into the top coat, but it stays on the top layer. You think of it like wax on paint or ceramic coating on the exterior of your car, on your paint or on your wheels or glass. Uh, and the other thing, it makes it look really nice. Stands, makes the interior stand a little bit taller. I don't like detailing an interior without putting this on. For me, removing the dirt, cleaning it up is part of an interior detail. Uh, I would even say maybe it's half of the detail. The other half of the detail is putting a protectant on. In this case, it is a temporary protectant. Uh, it lasts three to six to nine months, maybe even a year. It just depends on use, how bad a uh, shape it was in to begin with. And I also like to do like inside everywhere and for me one of the biggest things this does is makes the interior easier to clean so the dirt is not going to stick quite as fast and when it does lay on there it is going to be easier to clean so this has a little bit of dust repellency it discharges the static just ever so slightly uh, so the biggest thing for me is preservation and ease of clean saving me time and money. Those are the biggest reasons. So that's why we put a protectant on anytime we do an interior. Some people have said, I don't want anything fancy, just clean it up. This isn't fancy. We're not putting we're not putting a chandelier inside the car. We're literally cleaning it and then putting a protectant on because without it, I feel that detailing the interior without putting the protectant on is, is only doing about half the job. And by the way, um, this protectant is biodegradable, it's non-toxic. The stuff in the stores usually has a warning label on, says don't breathe it in, don't touch it. I mean, I wouldn't put this stuff in your mouth, uh, for sure, but it is not a poison, it's not, it does not contain any solvents. All it has in it is, um, you think like plastic moisturizing uh, resins, uh, UV inhibitors is, is really what we're dealing with here. Uh, so uh, UV protectants, just like Carnuba is like a UV protectant, um, which get, the Carnuba in the wax has UV protectants that protect the paint. Uh, this is the same thing for the interior. Okay.